Iman Kalev's recent participation at the Paris Olympics has sparked significant controversy. While there has been various debates surrounding the Games, this one stands out for its political dimensions. Iman Kalev, an Algerian boxer who is allegedly a transgender, recently competed against Italian boxer Angela Carini. Stay tuned for more details after the introduction. Welcome to your one-stop hub for global news, sports, finance, and celebrity gossip. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a beat. This is your Olympics update. Iman Kalev, an Algerian boxer who was previously disqualified from 2023 World Championships due to a failed gender eligibility test, was reinstated to compete at the Paris Olympics this year. He is allegedly a transgender. Iman Kalev faced the Italian boxer Angela Carini, an experienced fighter with high prospects. Carini withdrew after 46 seconds, which is rare in Olympic boxing. Carini's reason was that she was feeling intense pain, which could have been due to the punches received early in the match. In fact, she bled from the nose from what she says. Head over to our X account, formerly known as Twitter, you will see the punch that Khalif threw to Karini. It was a rather impactful one. You be the judge. What sparked the controversy, though, is a refusal to handshake Iman Khalif at the end of the game. When Karini was asked about her forfeit, she responded as so. If an athlete is this way, and in that sense, it's not right, or it is right. It's not up to me to decide. I just did my job as a boxer. I got into the ring and fought. I did it with my head held high and with a broken heart for not having finished the last kilometer. End quote. Social media believes Karini's refusal to shake uh, Khalif's hand post the game was a silent protest. There is a hashtag, I stand with Angela Karini, that was created since to support Karini and protest against men competing in women's sports. That is the case of username Riley Gaines, who posted the following, end quote, men don't belong in women's sports, end quote, to which Elon Musk responded, absolutely. What do you think about this? How should the eligibility criteria be determined for transgender athletes competing in sports should they compete according to their gender identity or their sex assigned at birth comment below as always we love you for watching don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in the next video bye for now